Hi everyone, welcome back to more Infernium. It's finally time to climb the staircase in the memorandum. Make our way to heaven. So let's open up these doors and begin climbing. I know you can kind of cheese a few of them. Like, I know you can cheese the first one. I think you can even cheese, like, the third one. Second or third, something like that. But the fifth one, you can't. There's no way to cheese that one as far as I'm aware. Because it wants to make sure you have all five harvest fingers. I have to go back down and get some more light. There's the floating castle. So strange looking and seeing it go up in the sky like that. <clears throat> Alright, let's go back down. More of the story right there. You can dash across these, but I hate doing that. Because you can just fall right off. you can kind of cheese it to get up there because I've seen Jess do it but I've never been able to make that jump you jump up here and then there's like a little ledge oh, oh, oh never mind <laughs> forget I said anything I've never been able to make that jump not once and I wasn't even intentionally trying to get that jump either I was just trying to point in that specific area Wow, I, I'm for lost for words. Sweet. And then here's a little memorial. Kind of glitched out, but. But yeah. Apparently, I think it was one of the guys, I think Dennis. We read in one of the notes that he'd passed away. So yeah, from soccer ball. Because he liked soccer and then he liked drinking. <clears throat> cerveza or something like that. And then, of course, his scuba gear. Scuba gear. What's that say on this? Hmm. But yeah. See, and I really wish you could read this. Probably because it's on the Nintendo Switch, the graphics are too far down. If you're playing on a PC, you might actually be able to read that. But it's also in Spanish, so you'd have to read, be able to read Spanish. But yeah, I think basically the way Dennis died, which is actually kind of a, a joke the way the friends make it, is him and this, there's two women, two men, and they both form, end up forming relationships with each other. And then one night after having really good sex, she wakes up one morning to find her boyfriend dead. And so they kind of joke that the sex killed him. 
but it wasn't. It was like the bins or something like that because he'd resurfaced too quickly. Because that's how they were getting to Infernium was basically cave diving. You know, going down in the caves and then scuba diving. And they end up getting reckless and resurfacing too quickly and... That's how he died. But the others end up dying too. I don't remember what from. Ooh, I almost went off the staircase. Ooh, damn, we actually made it. All right, five harvest fingers. Sweet. Now, before we head up into that, let's go down and get some more life. And then you need some light as well. Such a long staircase. Hmm. Let's see if I can make this work a second time, shall we? Holy crap. Can't believe that. That's so beautiful. See, not every horror game has to have a bunch of blood and gore. I, I don't like that. I don't like that whole disgustingness of a lot of horror games. That's why I, I love this one. As they decided to take a different approach. They could have had dead bodies all over the place. Dismembered corpses. Skeletons and blood and viscera, but they chose not to do that And I absolutely love that I got four. OK, 
Okay, that should be enough for now. I mean, I should be able to make it through the arena quite easily. It's where I won't need that many lives, but just in case. Um, I'm going to top this one off just in case. Because really all you need is one, one harvest finger at the end of this trial coming ahead. So basically, if you go through this trial in heaven and you have no harvest fingers, you get the bad ending. But if you have at least one harvest finger, then you can get the good ending. Which by now, you should already have gotten into the habit of at least carrying I would say two harvest fingers with you at all times. Unless you're just really struggling and keep dying in a certain area, then you won't want to do that. But for the most part, you want to keep at least a couple on you. That way you can open up barriers and shortcuts and that kind of stuff. Luckily, the first time I played this, I actually had light with me when I made it through the arena, so I actually got the good ending the first try. Um, and then I had to go back just to get the bad ending. Alright. There you go. Welcome to heaven. Uh, and if you look up, it's the planet. It's like planet Earth, I think. Because those are like clouds and like oceans, I want to say. And that's what it looks like to me. It looks like Earth with the oceans and clouds and all that. And this is supposed to teleport you up to, like, Earth. Save. Perfect. Alright. So there's two ways you can go about doing this little trial. Well, really three. You know, you can do it the intended way. And then there's two cheat ways, which I'm going to do both of them for you. One of them I discovered myself. Uh, the other one I actually learned from Jess. Uh, Jess for life. Uh, the developed. Oh, oh goddamn! Whoops! I got a little too close. Ooh, he's on my ass. Okay. You were supposed to jump past him, but I was too busy talking. Uh. Ooh, okay. I'm screwing around way too much. Okay. Come on. Okay, got rid of him. Crap. Okay. Let's go up here. This is the, definitely the most difficult way of doing this. So what you want to do is get them unexcited. 
So if you go down here, eventually they'll calm down. Just don't go through the barrier. Just go down far enough. See, now you want to stop. Don't, don't go through the barrier. And then you can go back up. And see, now they've chilled out. You no longer have this blue cloak chasing you. Which is fantastic. Alright, we're gonna open up this little path. And you may want to open these paths, you may not. Um, I'm not sure where that one is. Because they can both help and hurt you. Alright, let's get you. Perfect. So see, the blue one, I don't know where he went. There he is. Ooh, he's kind of right where I wanted to go, but... And really, it's the gray one. That is difficult. Okay. So I got him all excited. Now let's go down here and he'll chill out. Okay. Now we can go back. You know, this is definitely the most difficult cheese to do, but it makes this this arena so much easier. Because you have to do the rituals, the number rituals, in order to take down a shield. Then there's two separate time switches to two double doors. And you gotta do this while being chased by blue, red, and a gray cloak. It's too much. So as you can see, he's away from the switch up there. All chill. Just hanging out. Oops. Oh shit, we activated the red one. That's okay. Come on. Come on. Let's go for a walk. And it's this one right here. If you fall into this hole, they can't get you. And eventually they'll calm down. Y'all good? So as you can see, there's a switch right here and a bowl right there. And this bowl corresponds, I think, to the number over there. Y'all good? So that's the idea is to lure all the cloaks over that one hole, fall into it, and then just sit there and wait.
As you can see, there's a barrier. You know, and I actually learned that um, from Jess because she was struggling with this arena. And I struggled a lot. This one's a six. And that's how I discovered my little cheese. And then she and Carlos ended up telling her about that cheese of dropping through the hole. Where are these numbers at? I'm not going to use this shortcut, but oh well. Just in case I get into a situation I need it. Where the hell are these numbers? Oops. Huh. So I got pay attention. I was not paying attention. Hmm. Well, I was going for the good ending first. But it looks like I'll be going for the bad. Watch out for the white guys. They will definitely get in your way. I felt them on me with that one. Damn it. <laughs> oh, I got too close to him. Oh. Yeah, even with that little cheat, this... This arena is a bit brutal. And there is a shortcut I should have opened. Right there, so I don't have to deal with this blue cloak. So that's what I'm going to do first. You know what? Let's go for a walk. Are we chill? Oops. Uh, I guess he was too close to me. Boy, this turned out to be a lot more difficult. Hmm. 
Get away. Okay, come here. We're going in here. Can't see what's going on. See, the light didn't even do anything. But that at least tells you something. That tells you the blue guys have a bigger hitbox than the cloaks. All right, I think I'm going to go with my, my way of doing things. Instead of this little cheat someone else discovered. Because I'm not making it work, and I know I can make mine work. God damn it. <laughs> oh! I got too close, and then my fingers slipped off the trigger. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright. Oh, this is not looking good for me. Oh, my, my finger literally slipped off the trigger. And I just had that instant moment of, oh no. Okay, I'm tired of dealing with you blue guy. God damn it, I'm, I screwed myself there. Ooh, I screwed myself big time. Ooh. Damn it, come on. Ooh. Oh, I screwed myself bad. I should have taken out that blue guy. Cause he, that blue light guy, he screwed me over. I couldn't go my normal route. Now the cloaks are probably going to be right here in the entrance and I'm not going to be able to get by them. I'm going to have to reset the arena. Oh god damn. Yep. Crap. Oop. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> Really? Come on. Uh, trust me, y'all. I'm making this way more difficult than it really is. Don't know why. And I have to do this twice in order to get both endings. That's what really sucks. Not open that path up. How do you open that? I forgot. I need them to chill out for a minute.
Okay. And you gotta be joking me right now, dude. Seriously. This did not work. I think I have to do the number ritual first in order to get access to the lever that opens that door. Let's take on the other blue one while we have the opportunity. Okay, now where did Bluey go? That's what I need to figure out. Right there. Ooh. Almost missed that one up. Okay. The gray one is the one I'm the most scared of. Because he is faster than you. If you just try to run and jump, you ain't going to get away from him. The only way to avoid him is to use the red sand and the different levels. That's the only way. Just pure walking or pure speed won't, won't do it for you. Be so mad if you walk into me. Oh my god. Six. Six over here. Okay, they're both right there. That's good. They're out of the way. And then what I can do is I can drag these two Gotta be joking me.
This is taking way longer than I thought it was going to take. Because I've done this ritual so many times, I've never had this much trouble. Like, once I figured it out, it was pretty easy. Go for a walk. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Come on. Come on. God damn. Oh, the white guy walked in my way. Ooh, I almost teleported towards him. Okay, come on. We're going to go for a walk. Ooh, bam. I almost did not fall. Okay, chill out. Chill, chill, chill. Holy hell. Okay. Now we need to deal with the gray cloak and then we'll be good. Let's open you. No, let's not. Okay, just to save my butt a little bit, I think I can't remember if I actually opened this door or not. Let's close you. That way he can't loop back around on me. Gonna utilize both cheats for this. Okay, there we go. I wouldn't exactly call them cheats, I'd say more tricks. Okay, hopefully he's out of the way somewhere. Okay, good. Usually he's around there, around the white dude, so that's good. We can leave you over there, so we need a eight over there. This is a one.
Ooh, don't walk off, please. And there's the other number. Seven. So seven, eight. So I need a seven over there. This is a ten. needs to be an eight so this is a bad RNG right here with the numbers being so far apart like seven and eight and then you had a one in ten really I just need to be careful here zero go this way as to not upset the gray cloak perfect Perfect, perfect. We don't have to do that little number ritual ever again. Sweet. You got those two double doors. But you can't see them. There you are. Two of them. You gotta jump through. And I think you gotta do this one first and then the other one. There's a bomb guy right there, which the first time I did this, I did not know was there. And he actually killed me after I went through all this trouble. God damn. 
Oh, that was so bad. Usually he's not right there in front of you like that. If he is, you're screwed. Oh, that was so bad. That was bad luck. That was straight up bad, bad luck. Because usually once you go through, if you just keep walking, you're good. But he was right there in your face. There we go. Oh god, if I go right here, he's gonna get me. Yep. Yeah, if you jump too close to him, you're a goner. Alright. Okay. So why won't it let me across over here? Okay. Go for a walk. All right, come on. I was so nerve-wracking when they come up you on you like this. You good? Okay. Alright, I'm through messing around with y'all. Forgot about the blue coat cloak being there. Ooh, he might be a little close. He might be a little close. Okay, we got it. Where are you going? Okay.
God damn. I fucking knew that was gonna happen. Oh, I need a break. I need a break. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I will be right back. All right. I've actually sat down, ate some nachos, relaxed for a minute. Let's see if we can do this. Trying to do something new. Yeah, I want them to come down here. Seems to be lagging a little bit. Okay, I think if once you get down here, you're good. Good. He's gonna get my ass this time. I, I just know it. He's right there, out of the way. Both blue guys have been taken care of. The blue and red cloaks are over here. Alright, I should be good. Slowly. 
you it's such a pain in the butt. We did it! We did it! Oh. We have done it! Oh. So happy. And these won't get you, but they do turn around to face you. And I think you can touch them too, they won't, they won't hurt you. So, we were in heaven, now I'm guessing this is the afterlife. Welcome to the afterlife. There is a cave over there. We won't worry about that right now. So yeah. You arrive in the water on the beach. Cave to the left. Grass and green fields in front of you. So beautiful and serene. Grass, trees. You can just walk and walk. So now there's an enemy. And it's invisible too, so you can't see it. <laughs> oh. Yep. And from what I can tell, because I've traveled this multiple times, it doesn't matter where you go. It, it doesn't matter. Um, it's just like a time thing. So once you've been there for so, so many minutes, it does that. It triggers the enemy and it comes after you. And now you're down here. This is one of three ways to get here. This is the end game. All right. So you have the staircase, you have the pots, you have a black liquid coming out. Basically we arrived over there. This up here takes you to some double doors. See these doors, these should look familiar. When you die and you arrive in that orb place, there are those double doors at the end. 
so and basically when you use up all your life and all your orbs are gone the doors open and then you have to proceed down here and then once down here you have two fountains a black and white one so whether you use up all your lives and you go through the whole permadeath or if you go to the beach like I did and die there then you arrive here at this stairway so either path leads you to the stairway and then this takes you down you can see the white fountain there in front of me and then to the right is the black fountain and I've tried to cheese this area you know to get over there to that, that white fountain but I have not found a way to do it like I know you can get here and go down there and it looks like a trick you can get there it's too far away it's just a hair too far so you cannot get to that white fountain from there so really once you go through the whole permadeath system you lose all your lives or you go to the beach like I did you'll arrive here at the black fountain and you get the bad in Basically, all your powers are taken away from you. I'm guessing your soul is dissolved. Broken down and you lose who you are, I guess. You just melt away and become part of the black liquid. Concept and Development, Carlos Coronado. Yeah, I know there was a few people that helped him here and there, and there was a few testers. But for the most part, he created this game all by himself. I think that's pretty impressive because this is actually a pretty good game, you know, especially for one guy. See, and that's it. That's all for the credits. You know, no huge long credit with a hundred people or more. Simple is maybe 20 people. And I know Carlos did the majority of it. That, that's at least from what I understand. He did the majority of it. And he's had a few people here and there helping him. I think the main help he needed, because I saw some kind of video on it a long time ago. Um, where he was trying to talk about like the AI type system with the enemies is really kind of what he needed help with. Mainly the environments and stuff like that and the whole concept he was able to do himself. It was just the enemies he needed a little help. Alright, so this is going to be the challenge. And this is making it through that door with at least one harvest finger. I need one, at least one. Okay. And you can jump. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
That was close. That's why I don't like to jump. I know you can dash or whatnot, but I don't like doing that either. Not on these stairs, it's too narrow. Can I do this again? No! <laughs> See, that's what used to happen to me every time I tried that. It was a little too on the edge. See, and then those are those doors down there. So those will open up as soon as all your life is gone and then you can proceed down the stairs to the Black Fountain. And I know if you're playing on a PC, these transition is a whole lot quicker. Like I saw someone who was actually playing a short clip of this game. And he was playing it on PC and that transition was so smooth. You literally walk through and boom, you're on the other side like that. There was no loading. But unfortunately when I bought this game, I didn't have a gaming PC. I only had the Nintendo Switch. And I know it works just fine for the most part on the Switch, so that's why I decided to play it on the Switch versus the PC. Plus, I would have to buy it. I would have to go on Steam and then buy it a second time. And money is a little tight right now to be doing that for a game I already have. You know, because that's something else I thought about doing was Alien Isolation. I had that game on the Switch and I wanted it for the PC. But again, spending money on a game I already have. Hmm. It's not really feasible at this point in time. Let me see if I can try this. Okay. You know, there's probably a better way of going and getting life than the way I just did. Yeah, I, I went the wrong way. I'm so stupid. Let's try 
strange. That's a lot smaller than I thought it was. Hey, Mr. Man. Got any light in here? No? Okay. Hmm. Okay, I got some over here. You know, it might have been best to actually leave the light on the stairway instead of using it to open the doors for this exact reason. Okay, I am back. Okay, let's get you. Take you too. Okay, we should be good. Alright. Let's 
go get our gray buddy and take him for a walk as well. Oh boy, I was just super focused. Okay. Now we all we got to worry about is the bomber. The red guy is all we got to worry about. Didn't want to accidentally trigger him. Probably too many little short jumps, but... Crap. Holy crap, we made it. Oh, we made it. And with one harvest finger. Oh, it's so glorious. So glorious. Oh. Well, see y'all later. Oh. Perfect. So now we go back to the beach. There we go. Okay. Now we can go to the cave. Oh, I never knew this was white. I always thought it was orange. But there in the center it says 25. But you don't need 25 lives. You don't need 25 harvest fingers. You just need one. Just one harvest finger and that opens up. I think the 25 sig signifies the lives that you had or orbs. You got the wind blowing through here. 
and you can die in this area like i said if you're here for too long the enemy will come to you and i never noticed when i first played the game that this area is actually black and in this area it's actually white okay, come on that startled me a little bit oh So now we end up here. And this will be your little spawn point in case you fall. So you ended up over there on the beach. But if you come the way I did, you'll end up here. And it's literally all jumping from these. Sounds a little difficult. I just know there's really only one path. As long as you don't get onto that main staircase, you are good. Uh, we made it. A mother and father looking down at their newborn so yeah basically reincarnation so yeah basically you go to infernium if you manage to survive and make it to the white fountain you get a second chance at life you get to be reincarnated but if you don't you make it to the White Fountain, you unfortunately lose all your lives or you get stuck at the beach. Well, guess what? You get the Black Fountain and Fountain, and from what I understand, your existence is wiped from existence. You no longer get it to exist. You never get a second chance. So that's the way I understand it at least. But yeah, that was Infernium. Uh, one of my favorite games to play. Uh, it just ended up being a lot better than I thought it was going to be when I bought it. So, and I've spent a lot of hours playing it, so it was actually a lot of fun doing it here for like the third or fourth time, but all right, thanks for joining me on this game, and I'll see you at another game here shortly, so thanks for watching.